There's absolutely no rush, firstly. Take that pressure off yourself. I didn't have the chance to go to uni straight away. So I worked until 25, and it was 25 when that holiday happened, and now I'm 27. Nice. And, um, yeah, luckily, going back as an undergrad, as an, yeah, it's, it's just been great because now I know what I want to do. I'm more certain on it. And I've had that time to go and experience life, stuff up a lot, and be like, actually, this is something I'm really passionate about. Hi, guys, Rob from A Life That Travels, and I'm here with Gerard from QT. Hi, tell me about shipbuilding. Absolutely. And how you ended up in it. <laughs> this is a great story. Sure thing. So okay. I was in um, I was in Melbourne basically working in insurance for five years. Nice. And uh, it was awesome. It allowed me to travel and allowed me to, to work and make a really good network. But deep down, it wasn't what I wanted to do. And thanks to my family, they actually um, took us on a holiday, the family holiday up to the Whit Sundays. And they rented a catamaran. And we just went around for a week. It was a beautiful time. Um, but during that time, my girlfriend at the time actually said, you're giving this boat more attention than you are me. So that was like a, a bit of a catalyst. A bit of a giveaway. A bit of a giveaway, yes. Because <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm very curious. How does this run? How does this operate? What do I need to do to build them? How do they work? And that started my journey three years ago into studying engineering and also um, ship design. That is so cool, man. So um, now what are you doing? So now I'm in the third year of engineering, nice. but I've actually been undertaking um, an internship in naval architecture, that's the formality. And I've actually helped design three large yachts. So one was for a mining company in Australia, it was 80 meter grain carrier, which was really cool. Um, learned a lot on that project. And then there was a ferry for Samoa to help them get between islands. That was like very philanthropic and really cool to give back. Yeah. And the third one was a ferry for Australia. And they're like 50, 60 meter boats, like they're big boats. And I convinced the chairman of the group to give me a go purely based on passion. Nice. I, I had no experience. I was in insurance before, no uni background, just second year of uni. And yeah, I was just like, yeah, give me a go. So, so what advice would you have for somebody who's like um, at high school or at uni? Yep. Who kind of feels like, oh, I haven't quite worked it out yet. Like, you know, yeah. So there's absolutely no rush, firstly. Take that pressure off yourself. I didn't have the chance to go to uni straight away. So I worked until 25 and it was 25 when that holiday happened and now I'm 27. Nice. And um, yeah, luckily going back as an undergrad, as an, yeah, it's, it's just been great because now I know what I want to do. I'm more certain on it. And I've had that time to go and experience life, stuff up a lot and be like, actually, this is something I'm really passionate about. Isn't so, that the truth? Like there's so much pressure, yeah. like get out of high school and like, oh, you got to go to uni straight away or like life is a whole failure, but it's bullshit, isn't it? Like, it is, it's it really is. Yeah. So yeah, you just take it by the horns and just go with it. Just see what happens because you just never know. And also biggest advice is don't be afraid to just go meet people. Don't write off anyone because the more you talk about what you're passionate about, you'll realize even if that person is working in a field that's completely irrelevant, they worked somewhere else previously and they may know someone just in the weirdest way. And that's been how, I, how I've come to here basically. The school. And where are we? Just for clarity. We're at the New Colombo Plan Scholarship Ceremony in Canberra uh, so, so. for the 2020 cohort. <laughs> Which for those watching at home, if you don't know what this is, this is like the number one scholarship for Australian University students. Um, to go and have international study experience. It's unbelievable what you're about to go off and do. Oh, cheers. And that, yeah, but it's cool. I mean, respect to you. Um, but all of that just came from like finding that spark. Yes. And and I think I think what I was like when we were just chatting before before we started filming was like you just you 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 just followed it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Did, did you ever have a moment of doubt in that where you're like, oh, I don't know if this is? That's a good question because it after the boat the holiday on the boat it wasn't instant. There was it was certainly was an instant. It was about a about a year lead time because I, I was in a relationship and um, being 25, you're almost, you know, buying a house and all that sort of stuff. I was almost committed and it was like, hang on, do I really want to do this? So there was about a year lead time before I actually enrolled to uni and was like, I'm doing this. And that was thanks to a very healthy support network. And again, just talking about it, talking and that people recognizing in me that I was getting excited and exciting other people when I talked about it. So it was a very good feedback mechanism. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So what advice would you have to somebody that feels like that little tingle, you know, because it's in your heart, isn't it? It's kind of like, you're just kind of like, oh, shit, like I'm kind of in interested in this thing. <laughs> it's true, yes, isn't it? It's, it's it is, like, it is. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe this is my thing. But it's, not, it's a spark. It's a curiosity. It's, yeah. a, it's a, something that keeps you up at night, something that just keep, wakes you up in the morning or just maybe super tired and like sleeping. That's totally <laughs> fine. But it's just that thing that keeps you going, you know? Um, 
my advice is just to simply talk about it because you just never know who you're going to run into. Just like I ran into you. Dude, I've been really good. Yeah. yeah. Do, do you feel like, and sorry, this is like an ageist question. Do you feel like you're disadvantaged in any way because you're 27 and yeah. like, you know? Honestly, absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's cliche, but age is just a number. So I, I'm actually really grateful because going back to uni, has had me studying with the first year, second years, and they're all 18, 19, coming right out of high school. And here I am, as, well, back then, 25. It was a real humbling experience going, you know more than me about maths and stuff at the time, because there was seven years between my last exam from high school. Yeah, right. So it was a real um, learning curve to get back into that. And it wasn't bad at all, because it just helped me go, just lose the ego. There was there was just no ego. It was just pure, like, okay, I'm a student, and you guys are smart. Let's, let's collaborate. Like, I'm interested in this. And we all like, yeah, collaborated. It was great. Isn't that so true? Like, I think what you just said, man, like once you lose the ego yep. and you suddenly realize that like the world owes you nothing. Yeah, like it's, it's just it's just there for you to, you know, experiment and try and learn and fail and everything. And then suddenly like you, you come back to things and you're like, oh, actually, this is my opportunity to make the most out of this. And like, Absolutely. you know, and I guess it's so easy when you come out of, straight out of high school, you go to uni. Yes. And you're just like, oh, shit, I've got to go to class and this is sucks. And but, it can be so daunting. You're yeah. like, oh, what do I want to do? I want to travel, take a gap here. So, yeah, it's intense. Awesome, man. So good to chat with you. And so where are you heading now? Uh, I'm doing a stint, 12-month stint in Malaysia. Oh, cool. Uh, the reason for that is because they have the largest marine lab in the Asia-Pacific region. And I'm going to be uh, testing hull structures of new boats that I design. And then going over to Tokyo, Japan for six months. And wow. then literally building and working on engineering drawings of those designs. Nice. So it's an 18-month scholarship for that. Awesome, mate. New Colombo plan. I'll drop the link yeah. in the description below, and you can also hit this card up here um, if you want to find out more about New Colombo plan scholarship. Right. So, so good to talk to you, mate. You too, and I look forward to following your adventure, man. Like, let's chat after you get back and talk more about Absolutely. how it unfolded. Absolutely. Sounds awesome. great. Good on you. <laughs> Thanks, yeah.